Hey guys, welcome to Making Clouds with Mud Flap. Hope you guys are having a nice day for Monday. I don't know why I keep saying what day it is. You guys never really, well, some of you do. Hope you guys are having a good day. <laughs> We're about to get medicated. It's time for bed, actually. It's, believe it or not, it's only about quarter to 11. So if we whip this off and, uh, get her done real quick, we might actually get to bed at a half decent time. i got to admit today has not been the most productive day. We started this morning with a nice uh, dog walks and smoke session outside and then went to London when there was a power outage here. It ended up being for about four hours, so by the time I got back the power was still out. So, so a couple things outside, it started to get dark and then some rain clouds moved in, so I came inside and uh, it rained a little bit and then uh, the power went on again, just as I was getting ready to do my thumbnail and put my video up. So that was 9 o'clock when it came back on. So it was so dark, I couldn't really do anything outside because it was raining. Uh, and, well, not always raining, but raining and dark. And inside it was too dark to actually do too much inside. So I just actually relaxed. Karen was grabbing a nap before work. Laid on the couch, put the headphones on, something I don't usually get to do, listen to Primus, and Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. Normally I would try and grab a book and read or try and do something like that, but it's just felt like relaxing. So it's been a while since I got to do something like that. I kind of enjoyed it. I feel guilty for not getting something done. I was going to come in and clean this room up or my area up, but it was a little dark in the corner there, it was dark back here, not a whole lot of light, I probably could have set a light up to do it, battery light somewhere, but I just wanted to relax, and I did, so cheers. So I've had a couple dabs recently, and so I'm not feeling too bad, but I'm not feeling overly medicated. So what I thought I would do, seeing as I'm not feeling overly medicated, but slightly, is we'd grab some of the Sentinel the CBD 18 point something percent here and give it a try in our bomb. So we've been trying everything else in the straight path. So we thought we'd give this one a try. 1.9 per 7, 1.97 percent THC and 18.65 percent CBD. So we thought we'd have our obligatory three bowls for experimentation purposes just to see what she does. Even though I use this more for pain, and I'm not totally in pain today, I've been pretty good. Seeing I think I was in pain a little bit more recently for my hockey, but today was not a bad pain day. I did a little bit of grass cutting and such, but the knee is a little sore maybe from the swelling of the heat and inflammation, but it's not any more than I'm used to dealing with, so it's not a high pain day, it's a regular pain. Cheers. But usually when we have storms move in, hmm, tastes like the can of tonic. <coughs> I get migraines. So, it's kind of nice that that hasn't really f affected me today. <coughs> if it was going to get worse tonight, well, CBD will hopefully keep everything at bay. It's a little bit harsher. <coughs> Got a little bit warm in here too. The power just came on like an hour ago. So it's cooling off a bit again with the air conditioning. But um, Yeah, she's, she's, she's really warm and sticky out. For this time of the day. The dogs didn't even want to go out to go pee, actually. I feel a little bit. I don't know what I'm supposed to... To get from the uh, medicinal side effects from the CBDs because like I said it's a very light THC 
It's almost like a clarity in a way. Hmm. So I did, like I said, I had a couple dabs within the last half an hour or so. I was feeling a little medicated. But it is. It's almost like a little clarity. Hmm. Let's see where we go from here. It's not the... Not the... Hmm. Hmm. I've been using my lighter on this bowl. That's pretty freaking outside of me. <laughs> that book's right in front of me. Didn't even freaking think of it. Hasn't been a real big, heavy thinking day. I did want to take the walk in the park, but by the time I got doing all my running around and shit in London, got my vacuum too. Karen's quite happy. She wanted it, and I was... One thing that maybe make a suggestion to some of you younger guys is don't buy your wife or spouse or whatever utensils or house stuff as gifts like toasters and coffee machines and vacuums and not usually go over too good. At least that's my experience being an older guy. I always joke around that I bought Karen a white dress. So that my dishwasher would match my fridge and stove. But she's not here and probably not going to be listening to this. So I can say that right now. But yeah, that's the that's a dressing room joke. <coughs> but we don't have a dishwasher. Well. Yeah. We take turns, actually. It's, it's a combo thing. There's only two of us, so it's not like there's a whole lot. It's not like we're making roasts and that. We do like to put the odd uh, pork tenderloin in the slow cooker, though. Nice. I will say this tastes like it smells. It feels weird not feeling weird <laughs> when you smoke something. <coughs> they told me at the clinic that I should be mixing this with one of my higher strains. Which kind of, I guess if you want both feelings. I'll be more interested in cooking with this than anything. But for experiment purposes, we gotta smoke some of it. And we might mix some of it too, actually, just to see. Apparently, it causes you not to be able to blow out a small flame. I feel a little tingle. I can't honestly say my body feels any pain right now, that's for sure. My knee doesn't feel tight. My shoulder's not throbbing like it was earlier, but it wasn't like throbbing, throbbing, but I know when I've used it quite a bit this weekend. Washing the dogs was it's always a chore. Teddy's not too keen on it. Being the type of hair he has, and the last trip to the uh, groomers didn't go so well. So not that it didn't go so well. It's just she was upset and didn't. He's been a little fussy lately. So I might be the one that's having to do his hair trimming, which is fine. I used to do our bouviers all the time. And Teddy is not aggressive with me at all. He has just beat the heck out today, though. We saw, went to Buddy's place today in London, and he had a great Dane and a little retriever. We couldn't get nose to nose with them, but the hat dog called Moose, big fucking dog. Teddy would want, just wanted to get to them and see them. I mean, then we went over to my mom's house, stepmom's house, and seen uh, the Bouvier, which is another very big dog. And he likes to test Teddy, but Teddy. I don't know. Maybe because of how I treat Lucy, Teddy has never felt threatened by him. He just kind of looks at him like, yeah, whatever. 
or Lucy, her. All right, this is our third one. Let's take us to this level and see what CBD does. I can feel it a little bit. Like I said, it's more of an awakening. Not that kind of awakening. <clears throat> so when I was flipping uh, around on the interwebs today when I had a few minutes. Um, I, yeah, sorry, Nerdsy, too. I was actually talking to you this morning, I think, uh, typing away on the chat, and we were in, talking about grilling and barbecuing, and then the freaking internets went out for like four hours, so sorry about that. wasn't me shunning you or anything like that. Just one of the things that happens today. Just like when I was in here at 6.30 getting ready to do my final stuff for my video and then it crapped out on me. I thought of driving to work to put it up, but I figured I'd do that and then the power would come on. It doesn't usually go off for that amount of time. Like the four hours today is like something that might happen in the middle of winter after a storm. <coughs> Last time we had a big outage was that big one in uh, Eastern Canada and the States. Huh? They had like 50 million homes. But we got small ones here and there, but nothing ever to write home about. Like these are the these two of the longest two we've had in years, and they were both on the same day, so it's kind of weird. Not that it affected me that much. The air conditioning wasn't off for long enough to really heat up the house too much. It's a little warmer tonight than it was earlier today, but it's just because we have the air turned down at night more so, or up. It's turned up because it's not colder, which would be turned down. Didn't quite have the nice white ash like the other brands did. But then again, I'm not burning that baby right to the end like I did the other ones too, but. <coughs> Maybe that's why, because it is a little darker, but it's still pretty white, but I guess it's not bad. It's a little harsher than the other two. Hmm. No, I'm not saying I feel overly medicated, or I feel medicated, but not overly stoned from it. So I think that there's quite a few people out there. And I've talked to them at the dispensaries, too, that don't like that head feeling. And I understand that, because if you don't like it and you're not used to it, and if your body doesn't deal with it the same way some of us do, it could be overwhelming. I think you, and I don't, it sounds really freaking either conceited or something that, oh, if you don't have the mind that can handle it, but it, it's, it's almost that, that your mind has gets to a certain point where it can take that large doses of cannabinoids and processes and still let, allow you to function or so we think we function I think we function fine I'm not saying that we don't um, observe things differently when we have uh, larger doses of medication in our system but I don't think it impairs you where you're thinking badly or in the wrong sense it's not like I'd want to get to work like that or anything like that but I don't uh, I'm getting all philosophical now I feel it a little bit yeah but I do I must say my body does feel relaxed I am very relaxed that way I feel like I could go lay down my mind is awake my eyes don't have that mm, feeling I kind of got a little bit of but that might just be the leftovers from the dab. And there is a small percentage in it, but none of that. Mm, I've smoked some cannabis and it has taken my mind away. If any, like I said, if anything, the mind is just going like normal. So, yeah. I think we don't mind that a little bit, especially if it's going to relax the body like this. It's almost feeling like my legs need to be stretched out. Well, that was the first for me. I've had the Canatonic before that was 
roughly 12% of both. And I can't honestly say it felt as body relaxing as this. But maybe because I was feeling the other effects in the head too. I don't know. Just a personal observation. Rambling on late at night. Anyways, that's our CBD strain review. Do we really do reviews? I don't honestly think I do reviews. I see Gord doing reviews and Baker's Oven doing reviews. and I, I review stuff, but I'm not going to give you all the pertinent details like those guys do. I'll tell you whether I like it or not, if it tastes good, if it smells good, what kind of effects I might be feeling from it. But it's for the lineage. And thank you, Chili, too, for giving us the background on the Tangerine Dream. I could have swore it was a sativa just because... Uh, or an indica just because of how it made me nah, I guess I can't say that either because I got up and did shit right afterwards too so it's hard for me to, to, to uh, put them in categories like that because it's not too often I find something that coach locks me I get coach lock at the end of the day anyways when I'm tired so that's when I get coach lock but I have been liking the sativas nonetheless My friends, I do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me for my ramblings. I just realized uh, during the power outage today that when I put my video up, it was like 201 or something like that. So I missed episode 200. And we just crossed the 900 threshold on the uh, old subscription or subscribers li uh, list. So thank you very much, everybody. It's freaking fun. Amazing. I. Yeah, made a lot of friends real fast, and it's been fucking awesome. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, it's been nice, you guys hanging out with me. So we're going to get close to 1,000, or we are getting close to 1,000, and we'll have to put something together for you guys uh, for hanging out with me. I'm not going to do a gram dab or something big like that. Uh, I would rather do something for you guys for hanging out with me. Anyways, thanks for coming out. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And we'll see you tomorrow. Be proud of your calls. Cheers.